What's everybody doing tonight? Oh look, asparagus. Asparagus stalks. Right on the creek. Very yeah, cool. Some of it, or motor. Motor, probably. Mm -hmm. That's cool to see. We might see some deer. Make sure you guys are liking and sharing this out. Comment and let us know what you're doing tonight. Oh, Duke's got a poop. He's getting you off his mind. It's okay, boy. So we got the M23 meetup coming up. We're not sure what tent we're bringing. We got a couple. We got a few tents, cabin tent. We're definitely bringing our easy up, pop up. And uh, a few various cooking things. We're bringing our lounge chairs and a set of chairs. And We've been checking out some stuff around that area. What is it? Mm -hmm. Look at the sky tonight. Isn't it beautiful? We're quiet enough we can see some deer. For sure. Mulberry trees growing up out here. Those are mulberry. A nuisance. Hello, hello. Good to see you on this grid Friday night, morning, Saturday morning, Friday night. What happened? He was just like he had a set or something and he was on to it. And I'm like, dude, oh, he ignored me. I said, dude, where's daddy? And he just took off. Yeah. I jerked him from the river. Uh -uh. I haven't seen hot. It's a beautiful night. What do you how? What uh? I can't read the chat. I don't know. What 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 temperature do you think it is right now? Seventy degrees. Sixty-eight. 
Looking Gorgeous out there. Look at the sky. Hey, there's Lynn the Oki. Good to see you, Lynn the Oki. Hi. How beautiful. Isn't that nice? It's gorgeous out here tonight. It's beautiful. Duke's dying to get out, walk. So. We thought we'd just take a real quick walk and bring you guys with us on this beautiful night. What are you guys up to? You have a bonfire tonight? Cookout tonight? We're gonna just stay in? Oh look at Tyler, let's see if there's any animals in there. Oh. Thought maybe a mouse maybe. Are y'all farmers? No, we're not farmers. The, there's a lot of farms around us though. A lot of farms around us. No, we do uh, construction, Home repair, remodels, and we clean, and I don't know, all that kind of stuff. Windows, doors, siding, decks, drywall painting. Yeah, really nice crops around here. These guys do a really good job at um, farming. They know what they're doing tree growing out here on the side of the ditch. Funny. Green, evergreen. There's a dead tree growing up on the map. And I walked right to it and I saw it was just a green amount. Yeah, crops as far as you can see. This is corn. There's beans over here. Corn over there. More oh. corn over there. I mean, we live out in the middle of nowhere. Tammy's, uh, we live in Tammy, the house Tammy was born in. Oh, so I guess she wasn't born in the house. But she could have been. She could have been. Another mulberry, just growing up right out in the middle. Another one, another one. Man. Mulberries are kind of a nuisance here. To us. Yeah. The Completely brown, Lynn. That corn will be completely brown when they take it off. The beans might come off. It's starting to, they're starting to turn. But this will be brown, brown. They let it, they try to let it dry out as much as they can in the field because uh, it costs money to dry it once you harvest it. So if they can get away with leaving it out there until it's all dried out, uh, they'll do that. All depends on the weather and everything else but a lot of times it's up till November yeah it's gonna be out till November sometimes a lot of reed grass over here can you see it I don't know if I can zoom in or not yeah I can see the reed grass I like going live straight through YouTube because I can zoom in 
It's hard to keep it steady though. I'm not moving that much. There. They're just trying to act like that because I don't I'm wearing the gimbal. But. So we got the meet up next week. Pretty excited about that. M23. We don't get away too much. So looking forward to doing some camping. We're gonna make some chili while we're there. Uh, I got some fire roasted tomatoes and four different types of beans. I have my own special chili blend and we're gonna have some green peppers and onions. And we're gonna cook it all in a, uh, a milk. Uh, what do you do? What's, what do you call that? Well, it's all stainless steel. And you boil milk to uh, pasteurizer. It's a milk pasteurizer. That's what it is. And uh, it's all stainless. And we're just going to throw everything in there and cook it over the fire all day. Take it to the potluck. Oh, looky here. Check out these clouds. Might be raining over there, huh? Yeah, it might be. Could be. I had a breather, boy. You guys want to see Duke? Hey, look at Duke's patch. Stop. Duke, sit. Mark Kratz sent us that. Mark Kratz MC. Duke's wearing it. He's wearing it well. Hey, good to see you, James Catanese. <laughs> Hi, James. Yeah, James, you can make chili for us. That's what we told him we were bringing. <coughs> chili. Sometimes we do a white chili. Sometimes we put sausage in chili. I'm not doing any of that. What is that like blue looking light over there? Right underneath those clouds. Come down. I don't know. You see it? Mm -mm. Right above the tree line. There's two water towers. There's two water towers over there. Maybe like that. No, that's not what I'm seeing. It's in the woods. Right above the woods. 1800 miles away in Texas now, James is. Yep. I was going to give you your stickers at the meetup, James, so I'll have to send us an address. Did you hear Tammy, James? We were going to give you the. Your stickers, your channel stickers. What? Yeah. We were going to give you the channel stickers at the meetup, James, but you're not going to be there, so we need an address. He emailed me, emailed the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla, the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla at gmail.com. Give us your Texas address so we can get you some stickers sent out. Got a bumper sticker. Nice bumper sticker. And, uh,. All the stickers. So. Hey, look over there. Purples and pinks. Deer round and round all over right through here. But I gotta be quiet or they won't. All right, there we go. Put a sweatshirt on and I did not need one. It's been cooler at the evenings. And I thought, well, it might get dark before we get back. Probably ought to wear a sweatshirt, but 
I didn't need one. Because of the rain. Hanny thinks rain's coming. Do you guys? Let's see. You guys think that's rain coming? I don't know. I can't tell. Sure is pretty out here. He lost me. <coughs> James lost me. I don't know. It says green. Dennis Bowles! What's the weather supposed to be at the M23 meetup, Dennis? It's supposed to rain the whole time we're going over there. Oh, look, there's no. This is where it ends. Yeah. Not since they planted. This is the end of our road, this is. Gonna go back. We're gonna walk through the top. Oh, beans look good though. Look how they tall they are. Really nice. Like four or five feet tall. Wow. Good looking beans. And they're changing too, see? Isn't it funny how they dry out in the middle? Yeah, they work from the middle out. And sometimes they start that with a spray. They'll fly over it with airplanes, spray them, and then they die and dry out. <laughs> No, we don't have a regular lot sign wind. We'll only have a signal until we get back up to the road and then our signal will probably be gone. So we don't have a very good signal at the house. So we don't go live a lot. That's why we just do mostly vlogs. Uh, we do go live when we go on the road or when we travel. So sometimes when you see us when we're out and about, if we're not working, look at that big mole in plant. Huge. And look, deer tracks. You see them? They're, they're running the creek. Right here they go, I don't know. They're running the creek. Very cool. That's good to know. That's what I want to know. They're running the creek. That's what the deers is doing. Have a drink of that? Yeah, it's for Dick, but we'll Nate, share. Can I have a drink of that? Have a drink? You want a drink, boy? What is the meaning of the word you said? What did you say? I don't know. He doesn't remember what word he said. I said a lot of words. Which one? Mullen. Mullen. Mullen, it's a plant. It's a, it's a weed, actually. That's that's the one that's good for respiratory, right? For respiratory. The whole plant is uh, usable. You can make a tea out of it. Molen. Is that the word you're talking about? Jeff, where's the chat thing on here? <coughs> All right. All right. 
Also. Das ist doch da. Ja. Das ist keine Shaky. I don't know. Anybody ready for pumpkin's fucking hayride? Lynn the Oki, did you mean mullet? Was that the word that you were asking about? Duke, are you getting tired, boy? <laughs> it won't be long and they're going to have the corn mazes open here. They got corn mazes? All the spooky things? What the, what was it called? Uh, we went to Scream Acres. Scream Acres. A couple years in a row. I was cute. Uh, I like it. I'd like to go to the one at my brother's campground. Yeah, we that did, We did that too. one a few years back. Uh, Scream Acres has a lot more there to do than just the, you know, they've got a pumpkin chunking cannon and they got got... Uh, a lot of really fun games. They got this giant trampoline type thing. This is fun. A maze. And then the whole screen makers thing. Music going. Games. I don't know. We got vlogs up. We got deer tracks all the way down to here. We're going up and down right here. Up and down. They run right along the edge there. See them? Yeah, see them. They're all through there. From here, too. Yeah. Usually we walk back, the, the grass grass path went back a lot further, and we'd walk back and back and then back here. We would have been gone a lot longer, but I don't think we've been back walking this way for a year, maybe. There's a lot of, um... No, but I gotta throw my shoes in the washer when we get back. I got tomatoes on them. Tomatoes? Yeah. From what? I dumped that stuff. Oh. I didn't realize it got on my shoes. I didn't like this one running out. Yep. Yeah. Beat down. How grasshoppers are. So peaceful. Are. Really quiet. I mean, like you made a perfect. Duke, uh, Duke's uh, sen sniffer sensor is going in overdrive. I just love that pink and blue together. So, uh, Where? Okay. No rain yet.
How'd you get that water dish? I snapped it off the bubbles. Okay, I was gonna say, did that clip fail? And I didn't even know it? There he is again, sniffing. So we're almost done harvesting. Probably gonna give most of what's left. Well, well do we I need guess you want juice? some. Do we need some tomato juice? Right? I don't know. I don't. Know. <clears throat> and then we still have our peppers to harvest. We did salsa the They're other night. They're just starting to change. Pick it up just a little bit. Right? There you go. Try to hold it steady. I'm chilling the corn. There you go. This is children of the corn. Huh? What did he say? Is that fried corn? Is that it's field corn. corn. Yeah, field it's field corn. corn. Yes, it's field corn, James. It's corn. It's probably the best thing in the world. It's corn. Yep, field corn. So, all your uh, corn syrups, corn, everything, anything, biodiesel, biofuels, all made out of that stuff. That's what most of the corn's going for now, is fuel. Yep, always thank farmer. Always thank farmer. But, here's the thing, you know, a lot of these uh, farms are going away. Um, most of the corn that's being grown, uh, they have to grow for fuel because that's the, the price that pays the best for their, for their, what they're growing. So they sell it for the fuel. And uh, a lot of these fields are going to either solar fields or windmills. So there's, the acreage is reducing all the time, and what it, there is left is going for new uh, new things, things that are supposed to make things better. Um, and so there's not going to be a it's not a lot of food production like there was. Um, but some of the stuff they were making, corn syrup, things like that, we probably didn't need a lot of that anyways. Canola oil though, uh, or I mean corn oil. And then you have all your soybean products. I mean if you look across uh, most of your food, it's all soybean or corn based. nutritional value and the storage ability and the production level it's just you can't have a 
field of whatever else and it'll grow like corn or beans do and have the same nutritional value and be able to make stuff out of it. That's just the way it is. That's why they've gone to that. But it's not working anymore. And things are changing. And I don't know what the future holds. Nobody does. But. The only thing that is constant is change. Change always happens. And God, God never changes. So, there's that. You dip there. Do you guys feel that? <laughs> this didn't fall, I guess. I can't wait to get out and walk around when the leaves are changing. They're already starting, I've seen. We've had a couple of fall festivals already. It's not even fall yet, calendar-wise. Almost. Almost, though. Uh, hunt, some hunting seasons have come in. Turtles in, that's a... Well, I don't know if it's in still, but... Mm. I can just then you all like then, turtle uh, soup? Turtle soup or turkey soup? Turtle soup. Yeah, turtle soup. Good. Squirrel. I think it comes in like May 17th or 11th. Could be in. Dove's in already here in Ohio. Uh, morning dove. We have a video coming out sometime here in the near future. Well, when we talk about wild Ohio and how it's uh, celebrating 100 50 years right now in uh, wildlife conservation. <laughs> we do subscribe to the Wild Ohio publication. Kind of keeps everything updated on anything new and what they're doing. And these, uh, we get them every two months, but these last few have had uh, a lot of the history of Wild Ohio, and that was really interesting. I do share some of that with you uh, coming up in the near future, but. In that vlog, we it talks about uh, how morning dove were taking off the endangered species, and now they uh, have their own season. And otters too. We brought otters back to the point. Uh, well, we, as in <coughs> Ohio wildlife officers, or uh, the whole division of wildlife, and the people that support it. And Ohio as a whole, I'd say. Um, they brought back a lot of different animals in this state alone, uh, but including uh, making nests for Canadian geese and things so that uh, Canadian geese, which do migrate, and uh, other animals that don't just affect our state, but other states and surrounding states, and we help those animals too. And then I'm sure there's. Uh, initiatives in every state to kind of help wildlife areas. I did see that they want to make uh, trying to pass something to make 30% uh, more land untouchable. Um, so for like national parks and stuff and anything full width ever. Of course, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. There's pros and cons to all that. Pros being, uh, nobody can ever touch it, except for, I guess, people with imminent domain. Uh, you know, running utilities and things, they can do whatever they want. But, they give some more area that can't be developed. Um, but then I've also seen a lot of areas that are developed and uh, are developed in a way that wildlife works with it. So, kind of gives a place for everyone. So I don't, I see the ups and downs all of it. I just wish people could, you know. It's 
see the future and know everything and be good to each other in the world. <laughs> I wish that could all happen. But, you know, a lot of the stuff we do is just a mistake. It's ignorance. It's, we have the best intentions, but uh, we're just, we just don't know. Look how many, through history, how many times we screwed up as a society and a being. And I'm sure all of us, all of them at some point thought they were doing the right thing or doing what they felt needed to be done. And most of the time they were wrong. 